A perinatal stroke occurs during the later stages of pregnancy, during birth or within the first 28 days after birth. This results in an area of damage on one side of the brain, which often affects control of movement. In adults, the left side of the brain controls voluntary movement on the right side of the body, and vice versa. This is through a nerve fibre pathway called the corticospinal tract. But, in newborn babies, both sides of the brain send corticospinal tract fibres to both sides of the spinal cord. As a baby grows and moves, the uncrossed pathways gradually fade. For this to happen, normal movement is needed in both sides of the body. This process occurs mostly during the first six months of life and is complete by age two years. So how does a perinatal stroke change this? After a perinatal stroke, corticospinal tract fibres from the affected side of the brain may be pushed out by fibres projecting from the unaffected side of the brain. This leaves the unaffected side of the brain to control movement on both sides of the body, causing difficulty in using both hands together. We hope that early intervention could help preserve a more normal pattern of corticospinal projections, leading to improved hand function.